A community gathering to address farm murders in Nomendien in Newcastle has instead been engulfed by racial tensions and confrontations. The Mbizo was convened by Police Minister Becky Kele along with farm owners, dwellers and workers. It comes after the murders of farmers Glenn and Vida Rafferty last month. A 28-year-old suspect has appeared in court for the crimes. ENCA's Paman Lakoke reports. This meeting did not go as planned. It was meant to quell tensions. Instead, dwellers and workers say farm owners are abusing them. One of the farmers has been accused of terrorizing the community. Where's Anton? Where's Anton? But the farmer denies this. I never harassed uh, anybody and never chased anybody with That's all allegations that was made up. Um, um, so I definitely, and I will not do that, I won't chase children with guns. The community accused another white farmer of calling a black man a papoon before killing him. Mr. Geldenhuis had dogs in his property. He shot the dog and the owner was lying behind him. Farmers then justified impounding dwellers' livestock. Is it acceptable to have neighboring farm cattle and goats eating your crops? Is it acceptable? Mr. Minister, could you please give me a nod? Is it or isn't it? Minister Peggy Kale lost his cool. Want me to Vuba here? Who are you? Uba, I'm not Uba. You even say I must, I must use my head either to know or to, or to, or to refuse. That's arrogance. If, don't laugh. If you treat me like this, what do you do with the people that work for you? And then this challenge to Kale. Tele has promised to return to the area for more engagement to defuse the escalating tensions. Sipamandla Koke, Newcastle, KwaZulu Natal.